Hi, Internet and Melly. It's still Casey, and this is still 25 in 52. <laughs> so it's been quite the week for all of us, and while I don't want to talk about what happened much, I do want to say this. If you have in your life, um, or in your house, a person, or a cat, or a dog, or a, I don't know, a rodent if you're into that, who you don't show love often enough, or who could just stand a hug, and they all could stand a hug, do that. Put good into the world. Make stuff. Love people. That's all there is to do. There are a couple of new additions to my house today, so I thought I would share those with you. Um, one of them is from something I did today, and we'll talk a little more about that later, but I'm going to show you it. And it is, let's see if I can do this, this This lovely print, as you can see, um, by artist Heather Alt, who I will link in the stuff. Um, she is this amazing pro-choice artist who um, makes these prints of information about women's reproductive history, um, abortion and birth control, and all of the stuff that we've been doing for thousands and thousands of years to control our fertility. And she's great. I got to meet her last fall and her stuff is awesome and I want to hang it all over my everything. And I won that today. And so now it's hanging up there and it's so cool. And it's about contraceptive sponges. I don't, you couldn't read it during that thing I was doing over there. Um, but it's about contraceptive sponges and how um, Talmudic law used to recommend that young women, um, pregnant women and nursing mothers um, put certain sea sponges in their vaginas to prevent conception. Why pregnant women needed to do that is beyond me, but it's true. And 4,000 Years for Choice is the coolest, and you should check it out, all of you. The other new addition to my apartment today is um, where my get into grad school wall used to be um, a new inspirational quotes wall. So what we've got so far, let's spin over here, in front of it, this is hard to do. So, <laughs> so what that says is create in spite of fear. And what the other one says is vision, voice, vocation. And so those are the beginning of my inspiration. The top one is from a really fantastic Hank Green video, and the bottom one is from um, Cornell West in his memoirs and a bunch of other stuff too, but that's where it came to me from. So these are things that I'm trying to remember so that I can do the stuff I need to do. And what is the stuff that I need to do? Well, this. This needed done. But mostly, I need to write a sermon. Because I'm giving my first sermon next Sunday, and that's really scary! Also really exciting. Um, and you're coming, and all sorts of people are coming, and that's a little overwhelming, but you're coming! Um, and you'll be here, and so you and I will be doing an extra special video, and um, we're going to get some recordings of the sermon, and that's going to be awesome. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be, hi, Danny. It's going to be a really good time. I'm very excited. But first, I have to write something. And that has been proving harder than I expected. 
I get all up in my head and decide that nothing I have to say is worth anything, hard to write stuff when you think that. But I'm working on it. I'll get there. It'll be great. And I'll show you, well, internet you, next week how that turned out. But for now, I have a story about today. So today, which is actually Sunday, and I'll post this on Monday, um, I went to the Abortion Access Bullathon. Yeah! Um, that was the party ending up our months of fundraising. We raised $20,000, which is super, um, and it all goes towards abortion access, which is great, and we had this big, fun bowling party and whatever. The story is this, though. There was this random family that had gone to the bowling alley to just have, you know, family bowling time or whatever, and found that there wasn't a lane upstairs because we had the downstairs of the bowling alley rented out. And <laughs> instead of being like, oh, well, uh, that's terrible, they made a donation to the clinic. We're like, yeah, no, we're totally into that. And then came and hung out with us. And they won some stuff in our raffle. And the kids, their kids were real cute. And it was <laughs> really great. And I was really glad that it happened because now those people and those kids in particular, they weren't tiny, um, they'll remember that, maybe, have this memory of this time when they went to go on a family bowling trip and accidentally went to an abortion access fundraiser, and it was awesome. And we can only benefit from, from that kind of feelings. It was also a lesson in that maybe people you don't expect are better than you expect them to be. They shared a set of lanes with us, and at first I, I'll admit, I was like, oh, wonderful. These people don't mean to be here, and now I have to stop swearing and flipping off the ball, and uh... But they were so nice, and they cheered for us, and the kids cheered for us, and we cheered for them, and it was it was pretty lovely. And I, I want a thing, so I can't, can't argue with that, now can you? It was too long. You sat through all of that stuff. Here's some footage of me acting like an idiot with my cat to make up for it. See you next week, Internet. Okay, back. Anyway. Come on, I don't want to see your ass. Nobody cares about your butt. With me. Fine. Are you going to say hi or what? What are you doing? I'm recording all of this time of me talking to you. That's weird. <laughs> Cat, I'm chubby and cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's keep that. <laughs>